right, so here we are with Nick Mitchell at the end of a long 12 and a half, 13 hour day of wrestling. 262 guys, I think, in the tournament. Yeah. How are you feeling at this point? Um, I'm a little worried. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. But uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it, was, it was a good day, you know, and I think uh, the reason we do this late in the year is we want to see some good competition. There's not a lot of late season open, so we wanted to get some, some tough competition in. And we're getting really close to the home stretch for our schedule here. So we did. We saw a lot of really good guys today, so it was what we needed. How about the caliber of these guys? You're seeing some future Division One stars here. Yeah, uh, for sure. Has it, has it always been like this? Have you always attracted this many top flight guys? I, probably not this deep, you know. I mean, it seems like every year there's been some good teams and some good individuals at different weight classes, but this this year's definitely the deepest it's been. How'd you feel about the way the Vikings wrestled today? We did okay. I mean, it, I'm never really that happy, you know, at the end of the day. But uh, I, we just left some some matches out there, you know, and those are the ones that that I'll be thinking about tonight, you know, all night long. But overall, you know, I mean, our fight's good and. But we're, we're getting better, you know, and we're ready for the end of the year here. You know, our guys are, we're, we're going to be ready at the right time. What's, what sticks out to you from a positive standpoint? Uh, I mean, really, Thompson, obviously, a heavyweight, he, he won the bracket. He, it was a pretty good bracket, and he dominated today. He pinned in everybody, Texas kid in the finals. And, you know, he had Cody Krimweedy, who was a former teammate in the finals. And that's kind of a tough situation, I think. You know, Tali Thompson's... Uh, uh, obviously related to Eric, and he's Cromwell's coach, and, and they wrestled. And so I think it's a little pressure on Eric, you know. And he didn't he'd approach it like that at all. He, he went out and just focused and wrestled and did a good job. So that, that's always a positive. Kind of more, you looked like you wrestled more of, uh, from the score, a big brother standpoint. Yeah, like you might have yeah. had that advantage yeah, over And him. he probably does a little bit too, you know. But uh, yeah, yeah, I always get a little bit nervous about something like that going into it. But you know, he did a good job. He just made it a wrestling match. He's gone through some ups and downs this year. What uh, what have you noticed from him when he's on? You know, he's kind of back to last year form when he's on. Yeah. And then what what has happened in the matches he's lost, do you think? I think it was just a matter of probably two things. I mean, he was a little overtrained at the time, which is kind of part of the plan sometimes, you know, but you have to be able to still get up for a match during that time when you're feeling like that. And nutrition, you know, just just because he's a heavyweight doesn't mean that it, he can just eat whatever he wants, you know. I mean, you got to be smart what you're putting in your body. and. And that you, you notice that when he does a good job with that, he can move his feet. He can he can wrestle like a lightweight for seven minutes, you know. And, and when he's not taking care of his body like that, then you know he's he's an average heavyweight. So he, he needs to stay focused on that. What's the situation now with Nitzer? He uh, he actually broke his finger at the national duels um, in the semis, and then um, so he's he probably like today he could have gone if we had to. But we need to make sure we keep him healthy and he's ready to go at the end. So he'll be back. Um, probably wrestle one time before regionals and nationals. So at this point, going back to 365 days ago when you guys are on the march for your first title, where are you at in relation to that team, do you think? Um, I don't know. We're a lot different team, that's for sure. I mean, we, we keep finding that out this year. And one thing about this team this year is I don't question their toughness at all. You know, I mean, if anything, with these guys, we have to rein them in a lot. I mean, last year, I think we had probably more talent but we had to make them believe they were tough. And this year, these guys, they think they're tough already, you know. And, and so it's been more about uh, just tweaking little things, you know, technically more than anything. So I think really we've got a, a little stretch here where we're going to hit it hard again, and then it's going to be about staying healthy, being mentally focused, and just being at their best at the right time here and make sure that, you know, if we're healthy, then we, we can compete with anybody. So it was a little bit of a challenge to find some mats. <laughs> yeah, we uh, but kind of last second, uh, something fell through. The Valley and, and Waukee each had their kids' club tournaments going on today. And so uh, we, we missed out on our, our usual mats. So um, luckily, uh, Sunflower Wrestling stepped up for us. We got two from the Wrestling Academy. And then uh, John Garvin over at Dowling hooked me up. So I told him I'd, I'd, I'd return the favor at some <laughs> point. So we'll, uh, we'll take care of John, too. <laughs>